friends hello friends today we will discuss about the pv diagram for pure and binary or multi component system actually this topic of this this is also called a phase diagram pv diagram pt diagram are the part of the phase diagrams so we will discuss today about the pv diagram which is a phase diagram this is very useful topic for chemical engineer which is work as a process engineer and petroleum engineer they also work as a process engineer in design industry even though if they are working in upstream where there is a part of reservoir study or fluorescence range or pipe scene study this phase diagram is very useful for them so this uh, uh, i have drawn this diagram two diagram this one is for binary or uh, multi component mixture and this is pure single component system so there is a uh, critical difference between these two diagram if you see these two lines which are the connecting lines to the bubble point curves and to the dew point curves in the binary multi component mixture this is slopey lines so you can see here i have drawn few lines only uh, but uh, you can draw many lines these lines are called the isotherm because these lines shows the constant temperature uh, lines so these are called the isotherms and here you see these two connecting lines for a pure and single component system these uh, connecting lines are horizontal and parallel to each other there is no slope between uh, uh, there is no slopey line these are not slopey line if you see these lines there is a you can see there is a slope if you draw a horizontal line so there is a slope here but here there is no slope so why it is like that actually so you know the, this is a curve drawn for component based on the volume and pressure for multi component so here you see in multi component system there are uh, many components uh, which have the different molecules actually so if you see when we uh, this is we call it a starting point from here is at temperature t1 if we say so we start compressing it so if we compress it so what is happening actually during the compression so the volume is decreasing that's why we are moving toward this point this point and and the, because the volume is reducing so what is happening actually the vol, uh, the pressure is increasing that's why this curve is going to upward direction moving to uh, right to left and moving upward because the pressure is also increasing at this point when <coughs> after compressing uh when we reach this points this is called the dew point so we are talking about the gas phase actually so if we compress the gas phase for at uh, which is maintained at t1 temperature and compressing it and bringing it and bringing after compression to the pressure here and corresponding reduced volume here so at this point this is the st uh, starting of the uh, formation of liquid droplets so this we call it the dew points so all the points here see this uh, we took uh, the system at temperature t1 we can take at uh, temperature t2 we can take at temperature t3 and so many so we can draw it and uh, this isotherms gives at temperature t2 the dew point uh, will reach at this pressure and at uh, temperature tc so you can say this is critical point which is the highest temperature and pressure where the two phase vapor or uh, liquid phase exist in uh, equilibrium is equilibrium stays in a indistinguishable manner means you cannot say it's a liquid or you cannot say it's a gas so both phase are undefined or indistinguishable at the critical points so you see what we were talking about that why this uh, lines connecting lines are uh, slopey in the multi component or binary mixture 
whereas in a pure component system these lines are horizontal there is no slope so if so what is the reason behind it so here if you see the multi component mixture there are more than one component and they have the uh, different uh, molecules the molecules are not similar so the distance between the molecules is also not similar in a multi component or binary mixture so what happen when we compress it so some of the molecules get condense or some of the molecule get compressed easily and they start forming the liquid but if let's uh, but some of the components need higher pressure so that's why our curve is moving up because some of the component we have this is two phase region from here to here is a two phase region so in two phase region here what is ha happening there is a transition of phase from gas phase to liquid phase from this point to this point so that means we have to keep on increasing to to condense the complete multi component or binary mixture so this pressure is increasing because some of the uh, component get easily uh, condensed or converted into the liquid phase but some of the component or molecules because of the different molecules in the uh, binary multi component mixture they need higher pressure to get condensed or to liquefy so that's why this line is going to upward direction whereas if you see here in a uh, pure component or single component uh, mixture it's not a mixture actually it says pure single component system so if there is a one component so all molecules are similar so they need the same pressure to liquefy all molecules that's why when we compress it from here to here and when we come here where the phase transition start occurring because this is here the first droplet of the liquid is start forming and uh, most of the part is gas here so then it's uh, going to uh, on the constant pressure this is a transition phase region so from here to here the all molecules will be condensed to liquid phase and the because the molecules are similar the distance between the molecules is also same and the intermolecular forces are also same that's why they need a same pressure that's why these lines is constant pressure lines so till that that's why these lines don't have the slopes so this is the basic difference between this uh, uh, pv diagram for pure pure uh, single component and the multi component or binary component system so now from these two diagrams so if it's a like a binary or multi component mixture so we can find out the bubble point or dew point uh, uh, pressure at the particular temperature so let's say we follow this temperature so our system temperature is t1 so we will follow this uh, t1 temperature isotherm so what we will see uh, we will take this point and uh, extend it to the y axis which is a p so we will read this pressure this pressure will be because this point is coming from the bubble point curve so this is a bubble point pressure at temperature t1 similarly from this point we will extend this line to this uh, y axis and this point this point pressure is called the dew point so in binary or multi component mixture the at the same temperature like t1 temperature the bubble point pressure and that dew point uh, pressure is different so bubble point pressure you see here is higher than the dew point pressure and in binary if you see the pure component system here if you want to know the bubble point and dew point uh, pressure at the a particular uh, temperature t1 so follow any any isotherm and correspondingly you can extend the lines and you can get the uh, bubble point pressure and temp uh, pressure and uh, uh, dew point pressure at the particular temperature let's say our system temperature is t1 so it we extend uh, this point to get the bubble point so see because there is no slope so these two lines will coincide that means in a pure single component system the, the uh, dew point pressure and the bubble point pressure is same so this is the basic criteria and you need to understand the critical pressure and critical temperature also for this uh, pure single component system this uh, critical pressure and critical temperature is the highest single temperature and pressure where the liquid 
and gas where the liquid and gas or vapor phase exist in equilibrium in an indistinguishable manner what is the meaning of indistinguishable manner in terms of density if we consider it so at uh, at this uh, critical point it's not uh, as heavy as uh, density of liquid here this uh, indistinguishable is a uh, means liquid and vapor uh, liquid and vapor phase in equilibrium it's not as heavy as the density of liquid and it's not as lighter as the density of gases so it falls the density of uh, homogeneous liquid which is at equilibrium here which is indistinguishable at term, uh, critical pressure and critical temperature it's such that its density lies between the liquid and the gases so this is the main difference here so hope you understand uh, what is the pv diagram for pure and binary multi component system in the le next lecture i will tell you uh, how to draw the pt diagram for binary component mixture and the pure single component mixture because that pt diagram is also a part of uh, phase diagram or phase envelopes so thanks a lot for watching my video if you have any any doubt or anything you want to know more so uh, write in a comment and keep watching these are free videos and free concept i want to share all this concept with the newcomers and the process design engineers so this is the only thing i want to spread the knowledge what i have gained during my 13 to 14 year of experience in design fields so hope it will be useful for you guys to face an interview and to understand the subject and to solve the problem of academic or industrial or design problems so it will be very useful in even for uh, pipe seam and flow assurance studies where you need to understand the reservoir phase diagram during the crude characterization so this is all about this you know very well this is a, a liquid reason this is a gas reason and this is a uh, liquid plus vapor reason so this need not to tell i think this is very clear to you guys this is vapor reason this is a liquid plus vapor reason so this from here to here between these two curves which is bubble point curve and dew point curves are uh, th in, in between these two curves this reason is two phase reason so thanks once again for watching my video bye bye